Hey, what's going on everybody? Super excited today because got a new package. Uh, this one comes in from the folks over at Diabolical Inc. Super excited to show you what we got. All right guys, so now it's finally time I get to show you what we got from our friends here at Diabolical Inc. And again, super excited. It's been something that I've kind of been looking forward to. So let's do a little unboxing. can't say excellent craftsmanship here in the uh, boxing being a, uh, a metal item uh, thrown around in cardboard for shipping it's awesome what these guys do tons of great work by putting the foam in and uh, everything else that's uh, put forward here so let's see what we got that box over. Set this thing down on the ground here. Again, excellent job on uh, boxing this thing up, making sure they're using bubble wrap. Just excellent quality it seems coming from this group. So I don't have my knife, so let me venture in the garage and grab one so I can get this opened up. So if you've heard of Diabolical Inc, you know the product that they put out for TJs and JKs, uh, whether it be a two-door or a four-door and even JLs. They make the secure storage boxes that go in the back of those things. And I'm super pumped because they finally stepped it up, moved into the Gladiator world, and they've now released this metal lock box for underneath the rear seat. Now, I actually have the Mopar plastic one. It feels a little bit dingy and cheap. Uh, the latch mechanisms feel plastic. Um, and again, just doesn't feel secure. I feel like somebody could pop it open pretty easily. So uh, excited that Diabolical has released this metal one. Uh, feels a lot more secure, uh, multiple locks, and even has this little spot for a special security uh, that once we install, we'll be able to show you. So uh, hang out there, uh, wait uh, till the end of this video to see the completed version to see uh, what it compares from the factory Mopar. Uh, to our diabolical box here so super excited to uh, show you the fit and finish here at the end all right so walking out of my current setup again like i mentioned i already have the mopar uh under storage box what's great about the mopar under box or uh, under seat storage box is that the lock right here in the front actually utilizes your factory key and that's cool and all but one of my biggest complaints with that if you look at this latch assembly the entire thing is plastic including this thing here in the end plastic there's one also on the other end and they go right in you can actually see this hole right over here there's one on this side as well that's uh, right here they go into those little plastic things and honestly they look like they could just about pop out of there uh, so again one of the biggest complaints is I really feel that if you got this box locked up you got your doors off somebody could easily take and pry this thing open. I mean, you can actually see it move uh, just with a little bit of effort. So that's one of my biggest complaints. Let me show you another one. So coming back to the Mopar box, one of my biggest complaints is really the storage space or lack thereof. So if we take a measurement, you go from side to side, got a reflection in there, but you are just shy of eight inches about, this is at the top, it even narrows in um, so you're about seven and seven eighths, but if you look at the inside, even tighter at seven and a half inches. So the max width you got seven and a half inches. Also, the problem is the depth here. You're looking at, you know, only about, you know, maybe three and a half inches here on the back side. And if we're being generous, we'll call it four and a half inches on the front side. So again, just the lack of space um, on this unit is one of the things I dislike. Now the reason it's that way, and we're gonna look a lot different with the diabolical box, is because Jeep decided to build this thing out of plastic, they did make it really thick. So if you look at this side, I mean, you're almost three inches thick there on the actual box itself, which eats up a lot of the storage space, 
with them trying to make this plastic box a little bit more secure. So again, one of my issues that I don't like about this Mopar box. Now, please don't think that everything I say about this box is bad. Aesthetically, probably one of the best looking uh, boxes that I think you could build. Uh, Jeep and Mopar really did a great job on making this box look appealing, look very good in the inside of this and make it fit the space. I just really think there was opportunity for improvement. And I think our friends at Diabolical really, really uh, nailed it, hit it out of the ballpark on this one. Now, one of the things that Jeep did was they made this box, this factory Mopar box, very, very easy to remove. So you can see this little rubber mat in here. You just lift up on the rubber mat. You can go ahead and pull this rubber mat out of the way. Set it to the side. And once you get that rubber mat out of the way, you're gonna see four bolts. Uh, you can see one here in the camera, but there's one right here next to it. And there's two over there on the other side. Those are gonna be T40s. Um, the uh, Torx bits or a 10 millimeter, but I'm actually going to go ahead and use a T40 and zip these out. We'll walk over to the other side and remove the other two. Again, for those bolts, we go ahead and shut the lids back. And just like that, we're gonna be able to lift this box up. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it out the passenger side and the Mopar box is removed. All right, now one thing I'm gonna be removing and I'll tell you why uh, towards the end of the video, the importance of it, but I'm gonna be taking out this jack here that goes with the vehicle. Now, you know, a lot of people would say, why are you pulling the jack out of your Jeep? In case you break down, you need to change a tire. Well, if you haven't paid any attention, I'm on 43 inch tall tires and I really don't think this factory Mopar little crank jack is gonna be doing the trick for me. So I'm gonna loosen this little nut right here. You're gonna lift up on this, slide it out. And there we go, we removed the jack. If you're curious of what this box is here, this wiring harness that's kind of running along here, that is the module uh, for my rock slide engineering power steps. So if you got a gladiator, it's a good spot to mount it. Uh, you can see how I've got that ran. All right, so I've got my diabolical uh, under the seat storage box. And one cool little feature that I really like about it is the fit and finish of the bolts that actually go around this thing. So you can see most of these, there's no stud sticking out. Now, what's cool is, is because of the way they designed this, these are actually uh, a rivet style from the back side with the uh, bolt extended through and they're perfect length so you can put these nuts on and in the inside, you know, you don't have a whole lot. Now, on the outside, just so you could be able to put them in, there is a bolt that comes through and it's a bolt style, but what's cool is the heads are completely rounded. It uses the square locking, so when you put it inside from the outside there, that square locks into the metal so it can't spin, therefore you can put the nut on. Pretty cool uh, setup and a nice clean uh, fit and finish so you don't have a lot of points on the inside of this thing to get snagged up. So you go around here and for this base plate uh, to meet the uh, side and the backs as they bolt on, you got a bolt here, here, and here, and here. So there's four here on the side. Across the back you can see as I kind of pan across here, you've got five that go across the back and then four more on this other side. So really, really simple to put the box itself together. Um, you can see all the hinges. It's got two hinges per door. Again, two bolts on the door side, two on the box side. Um, and what I really like about this is there's multiple locks. So there's two locks on each door. It gives it extra strength there uh, as it locks down. Now, some other things that you're gonna see when you open this box, I'll kind of show you. You're gonna get four of these little uh, flat uh, rectangular uh, washer type things here. Uh, you're going to get four that are a little thicker. You're going to get four of these little mounting plates. And then you're also going to have the additional bolts and nuts for another bracket that we're going to kind of show you here shortly. That's going to bolt on here to the back. Gives us a little extra storage space. Um, also comes with an ample amount of keys uh, for each lock. 
really, if you lose your keys, uh, all these keys, you have a problem. But it comes with plenty of keys, which is awesome. So again, really, really liking the structure of this box so far. Uh, can't wait to show you some more. Okay, so I told you that the kit comes with two sets of uh, rubbers here. One's a little thinner, one's a little thicker, but ultimately they're the same exact thing. What those are for is on this factory mount, it's welded onto the uh, body. This is what uh, the box is actually gonna mount to. When we set the box on, and I'll show you a little bit later, the inside of that box is gonna go around here. So depending on how tall this is, they can be different variations. Uh, you may just use the thick one, um, you may only need the thin one or in my case I'm actually going to go ahead and use both because by the time I put both of them on there you can see that I'm just about flush with the top of here so that way when I set the box on the box will go just around here rest on the rubber sit kind of down pushing the carpet down and then when I set the box on I'll be able to put the plate on and run the bolt in through the hole so again in my situation I'm using both uh, the thick one and the thin one on each one of my four mounting locations inside the Jeep. All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and bring the box in here, try to set it in place. Lift up one of these doors so I can see. Lift it over. I would say an extra hand if possible would be great help here, uh, but just me out here by myself. Try to lift it into place. Got to work a little bit of this uh, all season weather mat there, but it works. I got that side set, so I'm going to come over to the driver's side, get the driver's side. All right, so I'm going to open up again this side here, make sure I'm set, and I am perfectly set in place. And just need to untuck a little bit of the weather mat here. And we're good. And just like that, it is in place, and we will be opening up uh, the doors here and installing those uh, bolts. Um, you, you, you will use the original four bolts that you pulled out of here, and I'll show you how to do that uh, up next. All right, so now with the box in place, we're gonna go ahead and grab those flat brackets that we grabbed, uh, had earlier I showed you, and they are just gonna set over top of each one of those holes like so and you're going to use your factory bolt now what these plates are doing is we've got the cutout in this box to go down over the factory uh, raised portion there you're going to set the plate on it using the bolt we go ahead and thread it down in there and this plate is actually going to hold the box in place um, so we're going to go ahead and install all four of these all the way around again using our T40. You can use a 10 millimeter if you want, but I like using the Torx bits. So I'm going to go ahead and install these and I'll show you what it looks like once we're done. Just like that, we've got the main part of the box installed. You can see that we use that plate here on the top. Again, using our factory bolts. We did that all four locations here. So now uh, on to one of my favorite parts is a little added compartment. Uh, remember we removed the jack so let's go over there and check out and see what we got going on. All right, now showing you one of my favorite parts to this add-on, since we removed that jack that we can't use, because again, we're in 43 inch tall tires, we're lifted, doesn't really do us any good. Diabolical has come up with a solution for that space when we remove it. And again, it's another storage box. And actually you can see, if you look through here, we can actually get passage right on through the main storage box to get in here. But if for whatever reason we need something tight in there, again, they give us a door to access that. This thing is really, really simple to install. Now that I got the box in, all I gotta do is drop this in place like so. And then you're gonna use the required or uh, supplied hardware, which you're gonna use the bolt. Again, nice rounded head. It uses that square style to lock it in place. It's gonna come in from the back side here on this uh, box, we'll slide it through, we'll put a washer in on the inside, and we'll put a nut on the washer, and then we'll tighten it up. Uh, this nut uses a 7 16ths, I believe. That's what I got here, yep, a 7 16ths, little baby ratchet. We'll zip this thing on, and I'll show you what it looks like when we're complete. All right, so after a quick four bolt installation, you can see the one bolt uh, right here, there's one directly above it, and then over here on this side, 
Uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see here and one right below it. Four bolts, and now we've got this extra little security storage space here. Again, flips down, really nice space. The lock here latches onto this metal uh, right here on the main box and secures that box. So again, one of my favorite things about it. And just like that, this box is now installed. Uh, I'll shut the lid here, kind of give you a little idea of what this thing looks like fully shut. All right, just like that, the box is installed. You know, we can put our seats down. Really, really clean look there on the inside. All right, so now that we have the box installed, I wanna show you one of the biggest features here. Again, I complained about the lack there of storage in the Mopar Jeep box. So now you can see at the front side here towards the front of the vehicle, we're at six inches. Uh, in the rear, we're sitting at about five and a quarter. And we have an amazing nine inches of width uh, just on the inside. But if you remember, uh, this new compartment, we can go all the way back uh, and we get, uh, you know, about 14 inches uh, when you go all the way back inside that other compartment. So a lot more storage space uh, offered here by Diabolical. Uh, another thing with this system um, is you'll notice that the doors go opposite of what the Bopar Jeep ones did. They used to lift from the front up. What Diabolical did is they didn't want that door to get in the way. So when Jeep doors flip up, they would stop about here, a little awkward to get things in and out. So a really cool thing with these, they flip forward, they rest here in your cup holders uh, so that you don't have to worry about uh, flopping down and hitting. And it gives you full access into uh, this box here. Um, also, you'll notice if I flip the other seat up right here and I'll flip up the other lid here. I now have full rain all the way across uh, for the box to where Mopar had a really thick uh, joint about in this area. Uh, it dropped down because it was plastic. It was really hard to get anything long in there. Uh, so now we have the ability uh, to stick some longer items in this box, more height, more width, and overall just a better quality box. everybody enjoyed watching the install my diabolical storage box uh, here for under the rear seat install uh, keep an eye out for more videos more install uh, stuff coming your way again hit the like subscribe and we'll see you on the next video